Danny, let's start with you. Which series surprised you the most? You know, I'm tempted to say the Tiger series, but really it was the Rockies. Um, the Tiger sweep was tough. They kind of had game one. Marte misplayed that fly ball. Um, you had Adovino kind of caving in uh, in the eighth. But I expected them to come out and, and really take care of the Rockies, if not sweep them, at least win the series. So that one surprised me the most coming off the really tough Tiger series. Um, the offense looked anemic in two of the three games, which it's looked pretty much for the past two weeks, uh, save for a couple of games there. Um, so that's, that, that's definitely the one that surprised me the most. Okay. Yeah, you know, I feel like the Tigers were a little bit better than people gave them credit for. So I did think that the Rockies surprised me the most. Um, I'm looking at, you know, like Sensanella, you're looking at some of these pitchers that they're going up against. They've struggled a little bit this year. Um, and, you know, they have the second worst ERA in the National League and the Mets just weren't able to do anything uh, for the first two games. And then that third game, uh, it, it was just a little bit of a collapse. And, and, and to watch it and to see how they lost these games, uh, they were 100 percent winnable and they just weren't able to pull them out. Yeah, collapse is the perfect word for that third game. Um, Laura, was there anything that you took away from, you know, since the Mets last off day, that's something positive that's happened? Um, I do like that, uh, you know, Buck Walter is more open now to moving around the lineup. You saw, you know, he left Starling Marte out of the lineup yesterday, moving Brett Beatty up. I think that's a really good sign. Um, I feel more and more uh, that the – the responsibility that they give Beatty is being is well deserved. Uh, I, you know, Pete Alonso needs that protection in the lineup, so I think that this is trending in the right direction. And obviously, um, Kodai Senga, you know, he just looked a lot better than he did in his previous start. Yeah, Danny, how about you? Uh, the return of Verlander obviously was huge. Um, you know, he came out gave a couple of home runs early, and coming off the Scherzer star, people were really worried, but he looked fine. He looked like Verlander, so that was a big one. And then the performance of Beatty and the performance of Alvarez, um, they've been great and. Looks like the Mets are finally taking the reins off Alvarez, which is really nice to see. Um, so those would be the main things. Yeah. All right. So we talked a little bit of pauses, but Mets fans everywhere are wondering right now, should we hit the panic button? You know, I don't think anyone expected for the season to look how it does right now for them to be one game under 500. Danny, do you think we should panic yet? I wouldn't hit the panic button. Uh, I would be concerned. Um, I still think they're really just way too good to be this bad. And the last 14 games, they've been borderline unwatchable. So um, panic, no concern, yes. Uh, there's just too many unproductive hitters right now on the team. Um, bottom of the lineup is being dragged down. But, again, I, I know it looks bad right now, but I think they're just they're just a one run away from kind of changing the narrative here. What about yeah, you, I mean – yeah, you know, Atlanta being seven games ahead isn't ideal, but it's May. There's so much that can happen. Uh, you know, they just got Verlander back. So now you're in a situation where if Scherzer is a little bit more like Scherzer, you have Scherzer and Verlander really, again, uh, in that rotation one more time. Uh, I do feel like the bats will heat up. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, Mauricio and Vientos down in AAA, those are reserves that if, yeah. you know, if Billy Epler decides to bring them up, that could really bring a boost into this lineup. Uh, there's just so much, there's just so much season left. Yeah, I think everyone's hoping that, you know, this is just a case of time being on the Mets side and that it being so early in the year, they can kind of get through the bumps. <laughs>